What's up, brothers? Welcome to yet another episode of Poor Man Road to Glory. So excited for today's episode. I mean, I'm always excited for the Poor Man Road to Glory, but as you can see behind me, it's La Liga Team of the Season time, boys. So we have a jam-packed episode for you guys. Somewhere in this video, I'm also going to include another Bundesliga Team of the Season cup run because you guys deserve to see it. Um, I'll probably show it like probably right here and then oh do i ever deserve that boys here we go cup final to win uh, the, the, the bundesliga team of the season cup for a second time we finally get that go ahead third goal to make it 3-1 and my god have we deserved it this guy sommer even though he's let in three goals if i manage to hold on to win here i still think this guy sommer is going to get man of the match without a shadow of a doubt i've played fucking great though Finishing's been a bit of a joke, but otherwise, I've played so sick in this tournament. Why is that such a soft pass? Anyways, come on, boys. Come on, boys. Hold on. Oh! Yes. Yes. It's kind of ugly. Kind of ugly. That up. Okay, I'll take the foul. 83rd minute. Still a big, big amount of time for this guy to tie it up, though, so... No, no, no. Wendell, Wendell, Wendell. That's a great pass out wide. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Out of bounds, out of bounds, out of bounds! Karius, if you don't catch this, I'm gonna cry. Okay. Um, I don't really want to be that dickhead that just holds on to the ball as much as I want to. This guy may not have won the Sané. I already have won him, so if he beats me fair and square without me, like, wasting time and shit, I'd have to just give it to him, you know? I don't want to because this is the poor man road to glory, for God's sakes. That final pass. Damn it. That final pass is shit. Here we go. Play it around. Play it around. Not really where I wanted that to go. But anyways, I bottled that. that I can't blame anyone but myself there. Come on. Come on. Manchild 28T. Come on, Manchild 28T. Oh, God, I have so many recommendations, man. Like, honestly, even if this tournament's done when you're watching this, highly, highly, highly recommend Team of the Season Ta, Team of the Season Dahoud, Team of the Season Karius. Like, those players are, like, twenty to 30,000 coins. Ta's gone up a little bit in price, but, like, there it is. We've just won it just like that, boys, without much worry at all. Those players are fantastic. Team of the Season Sané, again, I need to say this, and I don't want to rub it in like I did with the Team of the Season Huth, but Team of the Season Sané, if you're watching this and the tournament is still going on, grind the tournament. Do yourself a favor and grind the freaking tournament for this card, because honestly, man, well, actually, you're probably watching this and no, it's not going on, is it? But I hope you did, because he's so bloody awesome, man. He's. I I'm going to show you guys as well. So there you go. We got a rare gold pack, uh, which is absolutely fantastic, and I think I might open those up right now as well why the hell not 9.6 rating for marco roy sane didn't do anything this game other than get an assist but let me show you guys the overall stats as well and then i'm going to show you guys uh what we've met yeah no th th this is 100 deserved i would say check that out 12 shots 59 percent possession 80 percent pass accuracy feels good but let me show you sane's stats because the guy is a freaking beast you just have to learn how to use him you know you only have three star skills so ball rolls fake shots uh the the no touch dribble is really the best way to use them and there you go nine games 10 goals super competitive games four assists as well fantastic player obviously pierre emmerich is the star of the show though 25 games i've used him on this account 27 goals uh marco royce 24 games 11 goals seven assists he was really clutch in big games scored one or two goals um in that final to get us the win so really really happy with him sane was of course I would have to say maybe my favorite player in the team, believe it or not. But um, IK Gundo was great. Um, fantastic purchase. Dahoud, like I said, was really, really good. And plays really good as just a holding mid. I didn't think he would be that great, especially with the 70 defending. But very, very good in 74 physical. But he plays really well as a holding mid. Uh, obviously, everyone knows Arturo Vidal is good. Wendell, I've said this a thousand times over, is an absolute king. Boateng's a king. This guy, though. Like, I th what is he right now? 35k? He's gone up a little bit, so I, I haven't really double-checked his price, but he is so good. He's basically the, 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 
team of the season version, lower rated version of Jerome Boateng. So them as a partnership is, I would say maybe the best partnership in the Bundesliga for me. Uh, Opare is, uh, is an untradeable pack fold player, love him. And Karius as well, what is he, like 18 or 19,000 coins right now? So bloody fantastic. So hope you guys enjoyed this little clip, which I'm probably just putting into another episode of the Poor Man Road to Glory. And should I just pop open these packs? So we've got a rare gold pack and a coin pack that we unlocked as well uh, from one of the, what is it, the Bundesliga tournament. So why don't we open this and just see how many coins we get out of this? Come on. Oh, it's going to be 2,000 coins, right? No matter what. Yeah. Okay, so not so bad. I mean, I'll, I'll take the 2,000 coins. Some people have tweeted me and shown me that they've gotten 7,000 coins out of uh, out of these special tournaments, but whatever. I'll take an extra 2,000 coins, and here we go. All rare pack, baby. Come on. Give me something. Oh! What? We got an inform. He's kind of garbage. I think he's untradeable. Oh, we got our first untradeable inform out of a pack, boys. Andre Pierre Gignac's second or third inform card? Oh my god, Santos, I'll take Boateng. No way, boys. That's freaking fantastic. And you know I'm going to love using that in the freaking title, aren't I? Yes, boys. Unbelievable. <sighs> All worth it. All worth grinding the Bundesliga tournament, man. I can't wait. And as you guys know, we're probably in this episode going to be doing a La Liga tournament run or whatever. But what a way to kick off the episode, man. Hopefully you enjoyed it anyways. And hopefully dumb Nick 2018 remembers to put that Bundesliga team of the season cup run in there. Because my god, did we ever do good. Then we got a pack as a reward. And we got something absolutely incredible in the pack as well. So... At this point, everything's going to be spoiled for you guys, so I think we should just get right into it. We have so much to talk about here, honestly. Thank you for the sub crew, man, pilot. Appreciate the support, bro. But here we are. Now, we got to get rid of that coin balance because that's freaking me the F out. But 666k, boys. We're doing well. I'm so happy we cashed out on our Bundesliga players when we did. Um, it feels absolutely fantastic to have pushed through everything as well. But I do want to show you guys quickly uh, the team. Because I don't know how many of you guys are, are are familiar with everything that is in the La Liga team of the season. Maybe you all are, but I, I am not completely. Now, we won't be able to afford today because we're going to do a La Liga squad builder, right? We've got the La Liga cup going on. There's a player to unlock, Ruben Castro's team of the season card. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Squad builder and then a cup run of rage and sadness and, and, and all that shit. We won't be able to afford these three, I'm sure. But, like, I'm wondering just how many of these Team of the Seasons we'll actually be able to purchase. Like, maybe we'll be able to buy one of the big dogs. Maybe not Kareem Benzema, although, my god, would I like to try and buy him. Because that would be sick. But maybe we'll be able to afford this guy. This just... I need to try him out because I know how much a few YouTubers have been ranting mm, and raving guy. about his other cards. Um, so, I'm going to test this card out if we can afford him. I, I don't know what type of... I don't know what type of formation I'm going to use. I, I was thinking of going with like a 4-3-2-1. So it would really mean I would only have one striker to use. But maybe I go with like a 4-3-1-2 and don't use wingers. Like I wonder, can I go Benzema and maybe Aduriz? Can I go... Can I get Griezmann? Like, can I get some of these guys? I don't want to go too crazy. I don't want to fill my team with just all blues because we all know how that goes. I want a couple of blues and then have intelligent players... In the other positions that that can do well on their own and maybe like maybe even uh all black where is he where's all there he is there's all black like look at that card six foot okay six foot one isn't so good in terms of height it's all right but 90 handling 90 positioning 91 reflexes looks incredible i'm assuming we can get Godin. maybe i'm wrong but i feel like that card might be a card we could pick up oh my god i will i just want to get into the squad building man I just want to get into the squad building. Uh, okay, so anyways, let's uh, let's have a little look here at the entire setup of players that we've sold on. So we didn't really lose too much on players. Uh, these are these are the rest of the players that we had from our existing team, but we did well. Like we did well just by winning the tournament, uh, and then finally these cards started selling. So we were doing really really good, um, and we're all like we're we're pretty much fully fully cleared out in terms of who we have in the team. So. Let's just get let's just get rolling. I think there's a few players that I want to test out. I really did though. Want to go this route. 
4 3 2 1. I just know this formation. Hmm. Maybe I'll have like a couple of guys as super subs or something. So, again, this may be spoiling that quick clip, but we've managed to pack a second or third in form Andre Pierre Gignac from that tournament win. So, this card, this card, as far as I know, is untradeable. Yeah. So, look at that. Look at all these untradeable cards that we have. Hopefully, Team of the Season Ruben Castro will be part of that by the end of this episode. I think I'm going to go with 4-3-1-2 to start. If I hate the formation and hate how I'm playing with the formation, I'll switch it up. We'll go back to 4-3-2-1. But let's see here. Filu, thank you for seven months in a row. Kareem the Dream is going to be someone that we're going with for sure. Um, who else? Who else do we want to try? I wish. I wish. Like, is this possible? Right here? Hold on a second. Uh, this. Like, is this is this partnership a thing? Can I do this? How much are you, Kareem the Dream? Oh, I don't want to... Uh, I don't know if I want to max out my coins. I do not know if I want to max out the coins. Honestly. I do not know if I want to max out these coins. Fortnite, and you know he's gonna come down. That's crazy though. Uh, Hayden, thank you so much for the for the resub. Uh, you know this card's gonna be like 400k as of tomorrow, you know, and then just get cheaper and cheaper. So even if we use these cards, we're gonna have to like cash them out as quick as we can. Hmm. I don't go all. I know. I want to go all out. Trust me. But I kind of want to go all out with a couple of players, you know. Let's see how much Koke is. Let's see how much Koke is as well. Koke is one of the players I'm interested in. I kind of want to just... Oh, whoops. I kind of want to just see where player prices are at. No, he's not a center attacking mid, Nick. He is a center mid. Okay. Uh, like, how much is team of the... Oh, my God. Holy crap. He's so close to his team of the year. And he's... that Okay. Anyways. So, Modric is not someone I was really thinking about, but... Look at how well-rounded those stats are. I do want to try this card out. He just looks absolutely fantastic. Let's see how much Koke is. 200k? 250k? Close. Oh my god! No, he's 140k! Ooh, that card just looks sick to me. High, high work rate, so he'll drop back into the midfield as well and support. Oh my lord. Oh my lordy lord. Oh god, what do we do? Shit, 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 shit. Now I'm, now I'm, now I'm stressed out. Now I'm stressed out. He's 125k. That seems cheap, man. Shit! 125k. Do I buy that? I should have, I should have just bought that one for 125k, honestly. That one's gone. 130. 140. Do I just buy this? I'm buying it. I'm buying it. You know what? I'm jumping on this Koke. He looks incredible. He looks absolutely incredible. I think I have a center mid to center attacking mid card as well, don't I? No, just kidding. I don't. Uh, we'll give him engine. Why not? You know what? I think I think that was good. I think that was that was a, a, a good impulse buy, if you will. Let's see how much Adderies is. Holy God, he's 115k? Some of these team of the seasons are so cheap, man. 121k? 121k? Hal Farmer, thank you for uh, two months in a row. Oh god, hold on a second. The video's not failing or anything here. Just trying to get rid of the echo. Uh, 118. 117. 100, okay, so the 115k bid. Except there's one listed for 115. Oh shit, I'm gonna go buy that. Again. Where is it? Fresh as well, man. Okay. Yo. I'm in. See, now there's the problem. Those two purchases and now we can't afford Benzema anymore. Okay. So who's going to be... Uh, so do we go back to the four? What about 4334? Three, three, four? What about 4334? That is my tried, tested, and true formation, isn't it? A and do that. Exactly that. Could also do 433-3. Three, three Ooh, could do 433-3. And then and then get some real, real beasts on the on the wing. That can supply the ball. 
Like, could I afford any version of Neymar or Bale? Hmm. Can I afford any version of Neymar or Bale, I wonder? I know that Bale's card now is probably skyrocketed, right? Because he's not in the team of the season, but his like 89 or 90 rated card, whatever his best version was, was so cheap uh, a few days ago, or a few days before the La Liga team of the season was released. This card right here. I'm assuming he's got to be like five, 600k now, but that would have been a pretty smart investment. But who the hell, who would have guessed that EA, oh, oh. What about the man of the match, Feguli? He's right-footed as well, and why not use Adariz's strengths? His strengths, of course, being his... There it is, right here. His strengths being his heading. Oh. What about that? I kind of want to see... I kind of want to see how much Feguli's man of the match is. He's 72k, man. He's 72k. He might be even... Nah, okay, he's might. I, I think someone's tried to price fix him. Yep. So someone has price fixed him. That kind of blows. 70k. Right here. Uh, I don't know. Mm. 70k and he's not selling too. This is a this is a dangerous purchase, I feel. Because that one guy owns an insane amount of him. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of someone a little bit different than the Gareth Bale. Although, I, I'm thinking of getting Neymar. Not going to lie. I am thinking of getting Neymar. I'm very tempted to go with this Figuli. I'm very tempted to go with this Figuli. But you know what? Yeah, that price fix worries me a little bit. Let's see how much Bale's even regular card is. You know what, man? Sometimes just going with what works is the smartest, is the smartest move. Gareth, what are you going for, bud? You know what? He is pretty damn close to that price. Ooh, 83. Wow, there is so many of him for sale. I wonder if I can afford the Striker Bale. That'd be interesting. I didn't really like the Striker Bale, but... 85. That is crazy that Gareth Bale is 85k. Holy God. Even during La Liga Team of the Season. These price ranges, man, have just made this game so fun to play on this particular account, at least. If you're spending a shit ton of money on, on FIFA points to open packs, you're, you're not really benefiting. That's for sure, because all players are garbagely cheap. And that's when you get lucky enough to get a big pull as well. Yeah, Bale is a three-star weak foot. I do, I do understand that. 82, okay. What was the bid on him? Buy it, you fat pig. Oh, come on, Nick! Oh! Okay. You know what? For 80500 I think Gareth Bale is, is, is the right purchase. I do. Now, let's see. Because, I, honestly, I, I, this is just what I want. This is this is the this is the this is what I want up front. We need goal scorers. Okay. What version of Neymar should I buy? Oh, how much is Neymar? I'm assuming he's 100k then. 100. Please don't be much more than 100k. I still have a, a lot of players to buy. This is his 88 version. Shoot, I need to quickly double check and just see how much his upgraded version is. Button. Uh, Neymar. This card's gonna sell. I'm not too worried about it. 90 rated. How much is he? 119k, bro? He has basically no upgrades, though. Little bit better shooting, little bit better passing. Should I just buy this one? I'm gonna buy this one. I'm gonna buy this one. For, to save myself 23,000 coins, why not? There's hardly any upgrade. There's no difference. All right, I'm down for that. Okay, so now this is where things get a little bit... I say this all the time, but nitty gritty. Really, they do. Because I want a few good players still, but we have 240k to work with. So the first one I'm going to have a look at is I think the player that is going to make a huge difference. 
Although a lot of people disagree with me. A lot of people say, you know, goalkeepers aren't, aren't where you should be spending your money. I just want to see how cheap or expensive this dude is. Yan All Black's team of the season card. He just looks so good. Holy God. All right, let's test that out. Uh, Scotty, thank you so much, dude. Appreciate the support. Oh my God. Okay, okay, that's better. Oh God, though. Do I want to spend 80K on a goalkeeper? When I could probably get like Diego Alves's inform for what, like 30k or something? 79k is not bad. 79k for All Black is okay. He's got the long throw trait, which I also think Diego Alves has. 77. 77 is the cheapest by a few thousand coins. So I'm just gonna watch this one. Uh, where was that other? 80k. All right. I kind of want to see how much Alves is going to be. Alves. Diego Alves is in form. So Alves has better diving, much worse handling, same reflexes, worse positioning. Oh, Alves doesn't have a long throw? Okay, I just want to see how much he is. See, he's 29k. 29k. Okay, so I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to build out the rest of the team. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build out the rest of the team, and then we'll see We'll see how many coins we have left for the goalkeeper. That, that's what's going to determine it. Alright. I am going to take other people's advice in terms of... Oh, what am I doing? Uh, we got to fill up the club with... Uh... Oh, I've got Griezmann. Okay, Griezmann can be a super sub. Uh, this guy, don't really care about... Oh, God. I don't really have that great of La Liga players. Okay. All these dudes are untradeable. This gotta be pretty decent. Uh, ooh, so there you go. Like Cancelo, for example, I can just use in the team. Bruma can be a super sub. Pretty sick card, actually. Um, anyone else here that I should be not passing on? Center back as a super sub, maybe. Um, I think that's it. Let me see, where are we at here? Okay, so we filled this up. I think Cancelo just g gets in the team. He's got all the stats that are needed for a good wing back. I mean, okay, his physical and his defending aren't incredibly good, but he's got the pace. We'll test him out for our first run. That'll save us some money. High, low. So these guys are all going to be super subs for sure. Well, and then some of them are just going to be filler on the bench. What else have we got? So one more. A ten. This guy used to play for Real Madrid, didn't he? I mean, never really featured for Real Madrid, but I think he did play for them. Vagina. This... Oh. Well, this guy looks pretty good. Even if, like, I just need a center back. Like, if my one of my center backs gets sent off, I think that's what we're going to do. Okay. Griezmann. Here. Sorry, it's the OCD. I got to do this. Perfect. So... Right, so the bench is all ready to go. Good, good, good. Don't need anything else. Now, let's see here. CDMs. What are we going to go? We're going to go with one, like, playmaking CDM and one super defensive CDM? Let's see. What, are, what do we got here? Ha! Ah, Sergio Biscuit tits. How much How much would Sergio Busquets be? Oh! You know what? How much are you? Inform Krykoyak is such a beast. His regular card is incredible as well. Ooh. 27. It's not that much. I think I'm going to get this guy. 26. I, I love Krykoyak. 25.5, bro! Yes. Give give him to me. 25.5. That has to be the cheapest one then. 26. Okay. 25.5. All day. All day. We might be able to fill this team with a bunch more informs. So Krykoyak is a tank. Especially with those stats. I'm very excited about that. Now, left CDM, I think I need to go with, like, either a box-to-box -box mid or just an out-and-out -out attacking mid. Like, like a Luka Modric or, or Tony Cruz. Something along those lines. Tony Cruz is probably going to be pretty cheap. Bruno! Yo, how much is that team of the season? Oh, do I really want to fill my team with just endless amounts of team of the seasons, though? Are we, are we going to get that famed handicapping that a lot of people claim doesn't exist? You know, how much are you, Bruno? How much are you? It's 80k, boys. He's 80k. Shit. 74k, even. Uh, 
Oh god, Bruno, that price makes me want to buy you. See, I'm I'm just worried that I'm I almost have too many good players, man. I felt that the last time we built our uh, or the first time we built our Bundesliga squad for that tournament, I just felt like the team was too good. People were shitting all over me with like low rated what the hell? Look at that. There's like hardly any of him pack pulled. So 75 is the cheapest. Yeah? I don't know. Oh, there's not a, this. I mean, there's 12 pages, but still doesn't feel like there's a ton of him. Oh, do I do it? It's like, what type of center back? You know what, man? I, I am going to wait. I'm going to wait because of this. I want to try this center back out. Let's see how much he is. I'm. You know what? I'm happy I didn't pi buy, uh, uh, what's his name? Whatever that guy was that we were just looking at because I'm a goldfish and I can't remember who I was looking at. I really want to see how much 95 goading is. Seriously. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, the dream is dead. Why did I think this card would be like 150k? Oh, no. Oh, wow. Okay. Curious, then. How much would his, uh, how much would his 90 rated card be? That's his second highest... So he has four less pace, much worse, six less passing, six less dribbling, three less defending, and only four less physical. He's not that much worse. Sometimes you gotta work with the amount of coins that you have, and he's goddamn like five times cheaper. How's my math, guys? Four times cheaper? 75. Dude, a 90 rated Godin is 75k. Crazy. 75.5. Okay, so 75 is the cheapest that I've seen. I think I'm gonna just get the uh, get the 90. This is 75 just that that's. Ooh, I don't. You know what? They are they getting purchased already? Come on, man. Let me. Oh God, there it is. Oh, there's gotta be one cheaper. There just isn't. You know what? I'm buying that one. Screw it. I might. I might actually still make profit on some of these players, man. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I think that's good. We still have two pretty sick team of the seasons in there. Do we go? Oh, who's gonna be his partner? Who is going to be his partner? What if I can still do this? I think I'm gonna go with because I want left footed with medium high work rates again. Here we go. Onset. Is he much different? See, something like this, I'm tempted to just go with this regular card. I think we can still afford his inform. But I am tempted to just go with the regular version because there's basically no difference. And this one, okay, if he drops in price by 500 coins, I lose 500 coins. This one, I could make a little bit of profit, but there's a good chance that he could go down in price over the next day or two while I'm still using this team. So, hmm, 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 hmm. I kind of want to see how much this inform is going for, though. Let's see. 48, 44. I got to remember that I still want to try and get Bruno as well. I still want to try and get Bruno. Um, now, we could also get... Uh, what's his face? Team of the season, Jimenez. Jimenez? I don't know if it's Jimenez or Gimenez. Where is he? Is it, is it him? Is this him? Yeah. How much are you, bro? So this is going to be the tough decision. Holy shit, he's 72k. But then, okay. So this is where, this is, wow. I've got like so many Atletico players. Or potentially going to have so many Atletico players in the setup. No, I don't. <sighs> have we used Team of the Season of Inez? Yeah, holy shit, he's 64k. I thought he was 80k. 61k even. Okay, you know what? Why the hell were there bids that were so high on this card? 61k. Can I just go back and have a look here? Were there not bids that were... Oh, 40k bid. 72k! Are you stupid, bro? You bid like 12k over his actual price. Maybe someone was just dumb and bid on that like days ago. Thinking they were being smart, but really they just lit their coins on fire. If I do this, I don't think I can afford Bruno, can I? 
And then if I do this, I can't afford Bruno and Oblak. So the question is, do I want a beastly center back? Or do I want a better goalkeeper? Oh, shit, I can't make a decision, man. I need to have a look at both. I'm going to have a look at Laporte here and compare the two and just see who has the better stats. I'm going to I'm gonna see who has the better stats first. So we're looking at the inform, right? Yeah, so... So Jimenez has one better pace. No one cares about shooting. Same passing. Pretty much, like, pretty much the same pace. Pretty much the same dribbling. Pretty much the same defense, but Jimenez has better physical. Honestly, like, considering the difference is hardly anything at all, as much as I know a lot of people want me to use this card, I think I'm going Laporte. He's got a left foot. He's half the price. He's literally half the price. Uh, let me go just double check what the actual cheapest Laporte is going to be. I think this is the route we gotta go. Because now I'll be able to afford maybe even both Oblak and Bruno. I might still have to make a tough decision. Or, or do we go with the, you know what? I think we go regular Laporte. Again, considering he's hardly any different than his inform, I think we go regular Laporte then we might be able to afford both those team of the seasons oh big money moves look at that like he's 1700 coins for god's sakes and i might actually be able to get one with like an anchor chem style or something 1500 and he's expiring for 1500 there's an anchor for 1300 are you kidding me there's an anchor for 1300 okay just gonna watch that quickly that the Anchor Chem Style gets us up to pretty much the Inform stats anyways. So 1,200 is the cheaper. Let's see if we can find one for 1,200 that has an Anchor. I don't think we will, but let's see. No. Okay. So I'm going to get the one for 1,300 coins that has the Anchor Chem Style. Done. 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 Unless someone else has purchased him because they're watching this right now live. Please no. Yes! All right. That's the route I'm going. 1.3k for a sick card with an Anchor Chem Style. That's sorted. And now the question is, if we're tight on coins, do we go for the team of the season Bruno or do we go for the team of the season Oblak? Like, are there really super overpowered goalkeepers that are cheaper in La Liga that we could use instead of Oblak? Like, would Diego Alves be the right choice? Oh my word. I, I mean, this team looks freaking incredible. Like, I hope it I hope it translates. I really do hope it plays well. Oh God. Okay, I'm going to put Oblak back in here. Where are you? Again, all black. And then we'll do the 89 rated. Perfect. And then over here, I'm just going to make the, the purchase that I... Uh, where is he? He's cheap. He's awesome. Uh, I would go with Alaba, honestly. But, like, this guy is good. I'm not going to get his inform again. Although he does have, wow, four extra defending. And four extra physical. That actually is a pretty decent upgrade. I'm going to try out Gaia. Same thing, Cancelo's not going to stay in the team forever. Like, there's a hell of a lot of really good cards that I could purchase for, what, a thousand coins? It's not the end of the world. Okay, he's 1,400. Let's see if we can snag him for a little bit cheaper. And we're going to have about 140... 140k to work with here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Alba. Did I say Alaba? <laughs> That's no sleep, boys. That's no sleep. I'm sure I'll get abused in the comments for saying that. Sorry. Sorry for offending everyone. Oh, shit. All right. 900. He's under 1,000 coins. Yes, please. Yes, please. Get in the club, dude. Now is the test. Oh. Did I just see another one for 900 that was up for a while? Or is that just EA not updating? Okay. Bruno, how much were you again, buddy? How much were you? So he's about like 75k, right? And all black. Shit. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss out on this. I'm gonna miss out on this by like what 10k or something like that. All black is like 75k as well. Oh my god, dude. Maybe he isn't 75k actually. It seems like he's a little bit more expensive. 78k purchased. So he's not it's higher than 75k. 785. 79. Okay, let's just have a look. Okay, that one just got purchased as well. Cool. Um, okay. 
Bruno, how much are you then again? Let's see what the cheapest one is. I think I'm going for Bruno. I think I'm going to go for Bruno. I'm going to go for Bruno, boys. I'm going to make it a little bit easier on myself. Having someone with these type of stats in the midfield, I think is going to be more important than having a goalkeeper. Because, like, I've used Team of the Year Neuer. I've used, the like, Team of the Season De Gea, and they let in the dumbest shit ever. They let in the stupidest shit ever. Like, I don't think I should be spending my money. As cool as it would be to have All Black, and I do like the fact that he has a long throw trait and stuff like that, I, I don't think that's the right play. Shit, what am I doing, boys? I need to go pick that card up. Oh my god, man! What am I doing? I'm getting real confused here. We need Bruno. We do need Bruno. So let's just concentrate. 78, 74, 5. Not being purchased either. I need to remember that. 74, 5 again. 76. 76. 74, 5 is the cheapest. 75. 75, 5. 75.5. Okay, so 74.5, still the cheapest. And then it like then it jumps and there's like none have been packed. Look at this. It goes from 47 minutes to an hour and a bit. Alright. I'm getting the one for 74.5 then, unless it's been sold, which whatever. I pay 500 coins more, I'm not too worried about it. Where are you, Mr. 74.5? And I kind of want to see, are there any coming up on expiration? Ooh. We all know what's going to happen here. We all know what's going to happen here. This card's going to go for like 75, 76. And then all the ones that, the one that I want is just going to be, be, what? Ooh, this one has Maestro. I'm just going to buy it. I'm gonna buy it because I know what's gonna happen. This has happened far too many far too many times in the poor man road to glory where we try and buy a card and this will help my uh, me make my money back actually or make a little bit of money honestly as a CDM. There you go. Oh, this team looks sick. I don't care. So we can't afford this card now, right? 65k no because he's, he's people are buying him for 78, 79. All black. Sorry, bro. You're gone. And let's try inform Alves again. There's another player that Nep jizzes all over. Uh, and loves is this inform Alves or even just regular Alves. So let's try him out. And this will leave us a few coins to work with the team. You know, like if I need better wingbacks, I can go out and spend a little bit of money. Get, you know, a Carvajal or get uh, an Alba. Sorry. 27. Wasn't he 26? 26.5. Okay. Just want to double check. Sometimes I miss cheap cards. Sometimes I miss cheap cards. So we'll go to 27. See what that gets us. We'll leave us about 30,000 coins to work with. No, back, 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 back. No, whoops. Th that would help. 26.5. That sounds good to me. Oh, I like this team, boys. Please, Nick, don't get knocked out first round. Please. Please. I'm running on no sleep. I'm super tired. I'm super grouchy. This tournament, I'm scared, man. I've seen people complaining left and right all over Twitter saying it's the sweatiest tournament they've played yet. Yeah. Especially when I've, I have chances of coming up against Messi, Ronaldo's endlessly as well. Now, I have a good team. I'm going to be able to complain. I got Neymar, Bale, Team of the Season, Adderies. Holy shit, that is a nice setup. Ooh, I have my very... Huh. Hmm... I wonder if, like, I really like Adderies. I might just keep this card in the club. Uh, probably not. Let, let's be real. We, you guys are wanting... You guys are always going to want the best possible uh, Poor Man Road to Glory squad builders. And it won't be fair on you guys if I have a card sitting in my club that's worth over 100k. When we could use that in new squad builders. So, no, I probably won't keep them forever. But that would be a nice ability. Is maybe at the end of the Poor Man Road to Glory, before FIFA 17 comes out. Well, I think we'll just keep the coins on the account. Like, we'll have a final coin balance, whatever that is, and that's how we'll end the series, saying, boom, we've won all of these tournaments, we've managed to generate a uh, million plus coins, we've managed to use all of these incredible cards, we've hopefully won Division 1 by that point, boom, 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 series is done and over. Thank you very much for watching 365 days worth of Poor Man Road to Glory FIFA 16 edition, bring on FIFA 17. I think that's the route we're going to go. So let's do it, boys! Get in that La Liga Cup. 
pray for me, please. Yo, man, this guy has poor man Road to Glory in his title already. Aha, uh -huh, when he's already won team of the season, Castro. Round of 16 exit for Nick 28T. Has he won the tournament? He might have won the tournament twice as well because he's got that Rakitic in the team. That could be another. With that team? I'm, oh, God help me. There you go. Poor man Road to Glory 92. This is definitely so that someone watches the series. This is definitely someone that watches the series on YouTube, for sure. No. No. Here we go. Whatever, boys. Uh, wow. I don't even know what to say. That was a very boring first half. Now, this is my first game of the day, so it's always going to be a little shit. But there you go. I mean, it's, nothing's been working. Like, we've had some chances and whatever, but it's nothing been special. So I'm assuming you guys are just seeing the halftime stats. Put this on Adoriz's face. There we go. It's wow. Okay. Oh, Neymar. Much better. Quick fire start that is all right so adoriz you're gonna be my uh my point guy is that adoriz right there near post i think it is oh is it one nothing boys that was beautiful i have no idea is that adoriz i can't it is adoriz i think he's the captain right now there it is there it is you just got to get you got to get the ball into him even from goal kicks just fired up the field Created this into this entire thing started from Adoriz and then he also finishes it as well. What an absolute tank. One nothing, boys. Okay. Oh, Marcelo with the defensive header out of bounds. Jesus. Here we go. Please! Yes, boys! Yes! Two nothing, picks up the garbage. Guess who? Team of the season, Adoriz again. We've been pressuring and pressuring and pressuring. I think that was deserved. Does Kry Krykoyak wouldn't get an assist for that, would he? God, I thought I missed that for a second. Nope, nope, nope. No, that's a great pass. That's a goal, isn't it? It is. It always is. I just, I just gave away a pen. I just gave away a pen. Why does, why does shit always happen in the 90th, man? Was that a red card? <laughs> what a save! Holy shit! Imagine it was still 1-0. Oh my god, imagine it was still 1-0 there. Holy shit! Inform Alves. GG, man. So I'm still assuming that Adoriz gets man of the match. Let's have a look at these stats quickly. 8.9 rating. Yeah, the team didn't play all that great, honestly. Koke is the only person that got the assist. His Barbosa made 8 saves. My... Alves made the one important save. So let's go into the quarterfinal. Okay. Although this guy did make it into... Well, it's not that garbage. There's a few questionable players in there, but then the bones of that team is really good. Griezmann, Neymar. He's got Ramos and Pika, I think, as well. Now, that's still a good team. It's not garbage, but see if we can get into the semifinal. What? <laughs> what? That's like Cancelo ran into a ghost and just like got pushed off the ball. Oh, wow. Okay, this is what we're fucking... Are you fucking fisting my dick right now? That's what I'm dealing with? Cancelo runs into like an invisible fucking wall. All right, you know what? Fine, fine. That's fine. You know what? That's fine. Two can play that bullshit game. That's fine, dude. Sweet. Sweet, man. First fucking play of the game, we're already losing. Wow. Yes! Yes, boys! There we go. Quick reply. 21-21. That's kind of creepy. It's too early to get angry, Nick. It's far too early to get angry, but that's exactly what's going on. There you go. Inform Krykoyak, popping it away. Adoriz with a quick pass, and that was, was that team of the season Bruno that scored it? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Nice! Okay. I don't give a fuck if 45k packs are out, dude. I don't give two shits. The only packs I give a fuck about right now are going to be 50ks and 100ks. That's a foul. That's a fucking foul, you whore game! You push the ball past the player and he shoves you aside? That's no call? Okay. Ah! Oh 
Oh my, he is too good! Team of the season, Adoriz is too good! What even? It, look at him pointing for the run, man! Lucky number 13, apparently. Holy God! How did he get... I just beat him. Literally just shit on him. How did he still get a foot in there? Adore Holy shit, dude! Adore's is not even human. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Oh, should have just kept going straight. Okay. Bruno? Bruno! Dude, wow! 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 I hope I show you guys that entire display there. I hope I show you guys that entire display. Because my goodness gracious. 3-1, we had about, what, four chances in about a minute of gameplay there? Bruno! I was saying I didn't think he was very good after the first game. That's all I gotta do. Just gotta criticize players and they come up huge. No, dude. I'm winning by two goals, and I'm still allowing myself to be countered. That's pathetic. That is also super dangerous. Should never be doing a pass like that. You get taught that in like under 10 football to not make passes across your own defensive area like that, and I just tried it. This is good. Oh! What a pass! I did not think that was gonna make it. My God! Team of the season, Adoriz. Look at him. Look at his run. Look at this. He overran it, so he peeled back and then was open for me. I didn't. I don't. I wasn't controlling him at all. He did that all through his own statistics, I guess. Like his his card stats allowed him to do that. Holy shit! Does he have two goals? Did we just cause a rage quit as well in the quarterfinal? Or this guy's making subs in the 80th minute? Nope. We've just Adoriz's team of the season card has just caused a rage quit. Two goals, one assist, into the semi-final. Garbage. More garbage. Give me... Oh, my God. Oh, wow. That's a full Atletico Madrid team. I can't even hate. That is a sick-looking setup. I'm hoping in the Champions League final that a team like this gets fisted by Real Madrid. Come on. For my fellow Real Madrid supporters, I gotta crush this team. I'm gonna get fisted here, too. Definitely. It's gonna be foreshadowing of what's gonna happen in the Champions League. No, Laporte tracked that. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, what do I do here? Yes. No! Oh my god, dude! My own fault. What am I just clear the ball away with Godin, you moron? There are the halftime stats. It's been a shit half for me. Conceding a goal through my own fault has really put me on full tilt. All I'm gonna say. Okay, he gets the ball back again. Oh my god. Dude, are you fucking What the fuck? Fuck, dude! I can't... This guy's all black has made about 47 saves, dude. Like, what do you actually do here? What what is there what is there to do anymore? 9.3! Fuck man! Every time I play these stupid tournaments! Fucking Christ! What the fuck, bro? 9.3 rating. Like, are you kidding me, man? Make your sub, you fuck. God, am I tilted. It, to Neymar? Okay. 86 minute, 2-1. I'm sorry, man. I am just like, I've, I've gone off the rails. It doesn't mean anything anymore, dude. When his goalkeepers made that many saves scoring late doesn't mean shit i'm gonna go on ultra attacking but like who cares it's gonna push up like one of my fucking center backs isn't it too he's gonna wait is he gonna waste time i'm on ultra attacking why is my team not pushing up the field um high pressure come on come on boys this guy's gonna just waste time endlessly. look at this look at this trash Off. i love how i'm on okay here we go Team of the season, Adoriz to tie it up. That was it. How did he miss that? That was that was the game. That was the game. Absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, that was the game right there. To send it into extra time. Oh my god. Oh, fuck you. 
Oh. Oh, we fucked it, boys! Shit, man. Wow. Wow. Sick play. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. Okay. All right. Well, great. Let's do that all over again. Come on, man. Round of 16 again. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Oh my god, Adarese right away. Adarese right away. One minute in. Adarese makes it one nothing. Holy god, he's just it's it's insanity. It is. I do wish he put away some of his chances, especially I don't think you guys saw that in that semi-final loss that just happened. 90th minute, the ball popped up to Adarese in front of the 18-yard box. All he had to do was put it in the net and he missed. So we should be in the final right now, and I would put that blame on myself and Adariz, but here we go. At least we're making up for it now. Weird pass, but it worked. No oh, and it's offside. Oh, God, Adariz. Please. Yes! Yes, boys! He brings on an Adariz. I love that, dude. It's like reverse psychology. I've been doing it all day today talking negative or unconfidently about my team and instantly i think there you go Ad my adoris now has an assist as well let's go two nothing we got to be going into the quarterfinal oh my god what a play yes boys three nothing how would that how did the ref not call that playback please oh my god please just score jesus lord four nothing i'll take it <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? Oh my god. Let's just end the game, dude. Let's please god just end it. Let it be over. Ew, god, it's so ugly. Thank god I have a bunch of goals. Thank god I have a bunch of goals. That was horrifying end to the game. All right, into the quarterfinal again. There you go. 8.0 rating, 11 saves for his I think it was a team of the season. I've forgotten already. Team of the season Kaylor Navas might look into picking him up. Oh god, quarterfinal number 2 on the day. Well put together team. Cheap. It's got me very worried. Especially that Williams or Williams or Willian or whatever. The the right winger, he's so overpowered. boys i'll take it it's been a trash first 30 minutes Adaris again the garbage man picking up the garbage goal but there you go there's bruno the two stars of the episode so far man bruno and Adaris. gg g mother f and g oh wow okay Oof. Is it? Is there any signal? What did you? Are you wagging your hands? That is literally your first chance on net. What a scumbag. Oh, fuck. I just need a little bit of magic from you, bro. A little bit of ma- Uh oh. This is a problem. Holy shit. What is my entire team doing? Oh my god. No, I read that. I read that cut in if he scores that. Did he just score and now he's going to do that celebration? Two shots, two goals. I can't. Honestly, I'm, I'm sick to my stomach. I'm fucking sick to my stomach. I can't believe that just happened. With all the chances we had, I cannot believe that that just happened. Oh my god. This game rewards dickheads. It really does. That's a great play. But that is literally his second fucking shot. Third attempt at this tournament. Oh, and this guy's already won... The team of the season, Ruben Castro? God help me, man. And you just look at how cheap this team is, you know this guy's just gonna be a good FIFA player. What's this guy doing? It doesn't even matter, bro. The Diego Alves is like, I don't, is this guy not playing? What the fuck is going on here? I don't think he's actually playing, bro. I, I really do not, what the fuck? No, 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 no! No, please! What the fuck? Is that an own goal? What happened? What is that? Oh, I don't even get to go. What is this guy doing? No, he's quitting. Oh, God. Well, this is definitely the benefit of the poor man road to glory. This guy just recognized, recognized the gamer tag or recognized the team. 
He's already won his team of the season, Castro, so he backed out. Holy God. What a gem. Especially how salty I am after losing that quarterfinal. He just did that. Well, GG in the comments to whoever you are, dude. Thank you, I guess. All right. We got to win it for my last opponent. I think his name was Beaked. So, Beaked, here we go, bro. I'm going to try and win it for you, dude. God! After the offside troll, I've been Debbie Downer, pissed off Peter, if you will. What in the fuck? Cocaine team of the season, first time volley. Okay, well I guess we. I'm glad we kept him in the team. Oh my God! Oh my God! Cocaine using his pace. Please, yes, boys. Okay, and Bruno making it 2 nothing. Oh my god, man. My opponent is so good at using that LT button with his players. The body or whatever. It's impossible to defend. Thank god we hit him on the counter there. And Koke coming up freaking massive. He's done nothing the first... How many games have we used him? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 6 games. Or 5 games. Koke's done nothing. This one he's come up absolutely huge. I don't need to watch that replay again though. It was a pretty sweaty goal, so... Wow. Wow. That might just be his first shot the entire game. Adoris pumps it in as well. Okay. Well, that's a problem. That is a huge effing problem. Holy. Did he just scoop that in? I don't hear you. I'm Nick 28 Teamer. Oh, God, no. I don't want you to know who I am. Yeah, this is playing Nick 28 Teamer. You can't. <laughs> I think this guy just realized who he's playing. I'm not cheating. What? That's just a lovely goal. Your Adoree scored that what? Oh, what the? What has just happened? He's got a ping. He's got a ping, Robbie. I'm basically battering you. Shit, uh, is is this guy genuinely talking shit right now? <laughs> is he fucking? <laughs> is he talking shit right now? Shit, what, bro? Shit, what? Oh <laughs> my! <laughs> oh my god, that's. <laughs> Oh, fuck. He's gonna watch him score instantly again, though. Shit, mate. I'm not shit! I'm really good! <laughs> score some own goals? Sorry, buddy! This is the poor man road to glory. I don't do that shit. Although someone just did that for me, but... No more questions, please. No more comments. No more comments. <laughs> Alright, here. I'll score, I'll score a goal. Mate, it's just because you got like a really expensive team. <laughs> like, if I had that team, then come on. Well, you know what, dude? You should just follow the. Uh, oh, mate, fo your other ease just tackle me. Mate, you just, just get fucked. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Shit, mate. <laughs> How did his Navas make that same? Oh my god, that guy. I don't know if he was serious or not. I have no idea, but that was entertaining. Thank god I won that. Imagine that guy beat me. Bro, I, my ears would have been fucking done. Holy god, there you go. Krykoyak. Wow, his Kaylor Navas made three saves. Both our goalkeepers were an absolute joke. Let's just get into the semi-final. Second semi-final of the episode, and again, he's already won this shit. Looks like he might have won this tournament twice already as well because he has that Rakitic. Whether or not he's untradeable, I have no idea. Pray for me. Holy fucking... Oh my god, Neymar! I double-tapped that for a low cross. 
Wow, that is that five-star weak foot coming good. Holy shit, that is maybe the best cross I've ever delivered in FIFA 16. And of course, it's Adarese that scores it. Yes, boys! 2-0! Okay, this is the time where we want to start playing good FIFA. I got lucky there picking up the ball, but... The old Nick 28T, that is a very lucky play. But the old Nick 28T would have had the keeper make that save. Nice, Koke! Okay, it's not letting me really get to the ball. It's okay. Just patience, patience, patience. Patience, 2 nothing. Don't know, even if I concede here, I don't know if my opponent can actually... Oh my god, dude. I don't know if he... Ah! Holy sh... Can we just get rid of the ball?! Head it back. Head it back. What is the... What? Please, guys. Please, that's got to be the end of the game. Oh! <laughs> oh, my sweet Jesus. All right. 2 nothing going into the final. I have no idea what to expect, but I did change the team ever so slightly. We bought Matt. We changed the team to 4 3 3 4. We got, we got Man of the Match Adoriz at right mid. We have Demarcus at right back. And actually, that's the only changes we made. So let's see if we can win the final with this team. Come on. Oh, wow. That is uh, quite a team to come up against in the final, and he's already won this tournament. Man, I just. Oh, I would turn down the volume. This is going to probably be the last game we play in this episode. If I don't win it, I guess I don't win it. No, no, no. No. Oh, not like this. Are you... F I'm not like this. Please. Bruno! Why? That was such a good play! No, man. If you fucking score on two opportunities, I can't. Honestly, I can't. I can't. Holy shit, Koke. What a free kick. Oh, 2-1. Oh, my God, man. I honestly, I don't know what the fuck editing you guys are seeing here. I don't even know if I have the patience to edit in all my chances, but... Oh, Adu Reese, I freaking love you, dude. And there are the halftime stats. To be fair, my opponent is very good. He's using his Messi and Ronaldo and team of the season, Ruben Castro, very well. Oh, no. No! Come on! He just fucking runs through my defense! Why are my players unable to do anything? Like... Please, Koki! Oh! I tapped B! I fucking tapped it for him to just put it in the net! Oh, fuck off. chances i only score when i'm like down and out literally my players have missed open nets and shit and i'm scoring bangers from fucking the middle of nowhere when i've already lost the game Well, that's that. Catch you on the fucking flip side.